You get to where you can see. You can get on your knee. You can sit down if you want to. Relax. We're going to talk about an important part of the game of football, and that's tackling. The team that plays here and practices here, the Detroit Lions, the number two defense in the league last year. We got some great players. Got some great concepts defensively. But you know what? They understood. They understood how to tackle. They understood the importance of pursuit angles, how to make individual tackles, and then ultimately, if you can't make an individual tackle, understand it's a team concept. If you want to be a great defense, you got to be able to tackle. Got to be able to make plays on third down. What we're going to talk about today is what we call heads up tackling. We've been teaching it for a number of years, three years now within our Detroit Lions youth football programs. Okay, it's an important, it's, it's USA Football is the one, is the organization that created the, 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 the terminology in and around the heads-up tackling system. Why? Because it's, it's geared to put you as a football player, as a defender, in a better and safer situation to make a tackle. Okay, this is all about player health and safety. All about player health and safety. Understanding that this game is fit fast, it's physical, it can be violent at times. But we want to put you, we want you, yourself, yourself to put yourselves in a situation where you're going to make a tackle in a better and safer way. And the heads up tackling system allows us to do that, at least teach it better, okay, to less, lessen the increase, or lessen the opportunity for injuries, okay? Now, Five components to the heads up tackling system are this. Number one, breakdown. You already learned that over there, dynamic warm up. Breakdown. Feet, squeeze, sink, hands. Buzz. You already learned that over there. We're buzzing our feet, except when we're tackling, we're not just going to stand there buzzing our feet, waiting for that running back to come to us. We're actually attacking the toes of the ball carrier. We're going to buzz our feet in what we call the strike zone. That two yards or so prior to making contact with a ball carrier, we're going to come under control by widening our feet, taking nice, nice six inch heel to toe, short choppy steps. That's what we call the buzz. So we've got the breakdown, we've got the buzz. Okay, now, the third portion of the heads up tackle, which is the most important, is what we call the hit position. Hit position. Okay, now, what do you make a tackle with? Hands. Hands. Hands are a part of it. What, let me ask this question. What do you want to make contact with the ball carrier first with on your body? Shoulder. What part of your shoulder? Shoulder pad. Which part? The back of the shoulder pad, the top of the shoulder pad, or the front of the shoulder pad? Top. Who says top? Raise your hand. Okay, this is the top. Who says front? All the coaches say front. All right, it is the front. It is the front part of the shoulder pad. Here's why. Okay, you can put your hands down. Remember, we're talking about player health and safety. If I make contact with that ball carrier with my head, I'm sorry, with my shoulder, the top part of my shoulder pad, where does my head have a tendency to go? Down. 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 Do I want my head down? No. So if I make contact with the front part of my shoulder pad, where is my head? Up. Up. Remember, this is called heads up. But I'm not going to ever talk about where my head should be placed. I'm going to talk about where I'm making contact with my front part of my shoulder pad. Or if I'm making contact with the front part of my shoulder pad. I don't want it to be the top because my head has a tendency to go down. My butt has a tendency to go back behind me. I don't want that there. So the hip position is this. After I buzz my feet, I take what we call a downhill power step. That downhill power step allows me to create power producing angles in my hips and my legs, keeps my chest upward or upright, 
So I'm gonna make contact with the front part of my shoulder pad and my head and eyes are focused on that ball carrier. Okay, downhill power step. Making contact with the front part of my shoulder pad. That's the hit position. Most important part of the tackle. From there, now that I'm in that downhill power step position, or downhill power step hit position, I need to make contact with that ball carrier on what we call a rising blow. Okay? Downhill power step from there. Now I, the fourth part of the heads up tackle is the shoot. I'm gonna shoot my hips forward, thrust my hips forward simultaneously. The fifth part of the heads up tackle is the rip. I shoot my hips and I rip upwards with what we call double uppercuts. That too also forces and allows our head to be up where it should be. If I don't take that downhill power step, I can't make contact with that ball carry on a rising blow. So I take that hip position, downhill power step, I shoot and I rip upwards with double uppercuts. And when I rip upwards with double uppercuts, I'm grabbing cloth on the backside of that ball carrier's jersey. That's called a rip. Now, let me teach how we, the drills that we teach all those things. But let me back up and say this. How many of your coaches use the word, come on guys, we gotta wrap up. We gotta wrap up, get your arms around that ball carrier. How many of you, have you heard that term before, have used that? Coach, you used it? I used to use it too. I think we all as coaches used to use it. All right, here's why we don't want to use the word wrap anymore. Think about that, 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 that chicken Caesar wrap that you might eat at lunch sometime. It wraps all around that chicken and that lettuce. All right, it wraps it up. Well, guess what? When you wrap up a ball carrier, when you get your arms around that ball carrier, your head has a tendency to go down because your butt and glutes have a tendency to go backwards. All right, but now, think about this. Where am I stronger? If my arms are outside the framework of my body or if my arms are in nice and tight to my body, where am I stronger? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Well, guess what? I can accomplish the same thing by getting my hands around that ball carrier here and I'm doing it in a safer manner. I'm now doing it in a safer manner because if I get my arms out here, this increases my chance for my head to go down, but it also increases my chances for shoulder injuries, arm injuries, because now my arms are outside the framework of my body. I don't want that. Plus, more times than not, I can usually get my hands on that ball carrier quicker this way than I can this way. So I'm, I'm gonna benefit, my team's gonna benefit from that. How do we teach all this? Hit, or I'm sorry, break down, buzz, hit, shoot, rip. Break down, buzz, hit, shoot, rip. How do we teach all that? We've already taught you the breakdown position. Feet, squeeze, sink, hands. Now hopefully you understand why it's so important to squeeze your shoulder blades back. Now what's exposed? The front part of your shoulder pad. That's why we want to do that. Okay? I, f I get in my breakdown position. I buzz my feet, the second part, when I get to the, what we call the strike zone. And we're going to pretend like this pad right here is the strike zone. So I'm going to get in my breakdown position. I'm going to run. I'm going to buzz my feet, buzz my feet. When I get to the end of the, the uh, strike zone, I'm going to take that downhill power step and get me into hit position. Hit. Okay? Now from there, I'm going to shoot. It's the fourth part and rip upwards with double uppercuts. There's the breakdown, the buzz, and the hit. Here's how we practice the shoot, okay? I'm gonna get on my knees. My feet are nice and flat behind me. I'm not pushing off my toes, okay? I'm gonna say stance. I'm gonna say sink. When I sink my hips, now my upper body looks exactly like it is when I was in, I'm in breakdown position. When the coach says shoot and rip, I'm gonna shoot my hips forward and I'm gonna rip upwards with double uppercuts. And that'll force my head and eyes to be up. Watch how we do this drill. Stance, 
Sink. Shoot rip. Okay. Stance. Sink. Shoot rip. And I'm falling on the pad like so. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a superhero, and I'm not flopping like Superman. All right. Because now my arms and my shoulders are outside the framework of my body, and I don't want that. I shoot and rip upwards with double uppercuts. That's how we practice the shoot position. Okay, now we practice the rip. Thank you. I'm gonna get my body in this hip position. I'm gonna get my body in this hip position. And when coach says go or shoot, rip, shoot, rip. I'm just gonna finish the pad like so. And I'm trying to grab cloth on the back side of the jersey. There's no cloth there, but I'm just trying to where my hands need to be. Okay, so now let's put it all together. How do we do this? Watch. Break down. Go. I run. I buzz. I downhill power step. I shoot and rip. Finish with the bag like that. If I'm falling forward like this, I'm out of position because I haven't done what? I haven't shot my hips forward. The shooting of the hips forces your head and eyes up. The rip upwards with the arms forces your head and eyes up where we want it to be. Any questions on breakdown buzz, hit, shoot, rip? Did I miss anything? Yes, thank you. Coach Jim brought up a good point. As you make that tackle, as you shoot and rip, boom, my feet are still nice and wide. I'm still buzzing my feet thereafter with that ball carrier. Don't make your body nice and narrow by closing the, the width of your feet, okay? Break down buzz, hit, shoot, rip. Why are we doing this? Why are we teaching this? So you understand that we, under, that we understand the importance of player health and safety. You've got to understand the importance of player health and safety. Your coaches have to understand the importance of player health and safety. Your parents have to understand the importance of player health and safety. We are going to give you information at the end of the day that reviews these issues, these discussion points. It's important to understand break down buzz, hit, shoot, rip. Make sure we're grabbing cloth on the back side of the jersey when we do that. All right, if I was to tackle a ball carrier, I'm grabbing cloth behind. That's not a hold. Remember, we're tackling. Okay? Break down buzz, hit, shoot, rip. Any questions on what we're focusing on? Your coaches are going to work with you in each of your groups now. Here we go. Let's get to work. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. 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 Let's